Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will cover downloading the installer, installing the tentacle on Windows, and configuring the tentacle in polling mode. You can download the tentacle installer from octopus.com by navigating to the downloads page under the resources menu. Find the Octopus tentacle in the list of tools and click on the download button. This download page will provide a few options to you. If you use Chocolaty to manage your software installs, you can install the tentacle with the command provided on the page. You can also download the installer directly. Once it's been downloaded, run the installer to start the setup wizard. Accept the license agreement and provide the install directory to install the tentacle. Once the tentacle is installed, the tentacle manager will open. Click the Get Started button to start configuring your first tentacle. Your first choice is whether to use a listening tentacle or a polling tentacle. Polling tentacles are a good option when the Octopus server cannot reach the tentacle machine directly. Instead, the polling tentacle will actively poll the server for tasks to perform. The Octopus server will need to accept requests on port 10943, and any firewalls between the two machines will need to allow the connection. Listening tentacles are recommended if your Octopus server can communicate with the tentacle machine directly. You can watch a video on configuring a listening tentacle on Windows by clicking the annotation that just appeared in the top right corner of the video. After choosing the communication style, configure where the tentacle will store logs and applications. Next, you can choose whether the tentacle will use a proxy to connect to the server. On the Octopus Server tab, configure the connection to your server. Provide the server URL and an authentication method. You can use either an API key or a username and password. The authentication information is only used for registering the tentacle and is not stored or used again. Next, choose the machine type. Are you registering a deployment target where your software is deployed? Or are you registering a worker where scripts and tasks will run? If you choose deployment target, you will be asked to provide the space, display name, environments, and roles for the target. If you choose worker, you will be asked for the space, display name, and worker pools for the worker. The last step is to install. You can use the show script link to view the commands that the tentacle manager will run. This is useful for automating the tentacle setup in your infrastructure. Click the install button when you're ready and you'll see the output of the commands in the text area below the button. Once the install is complete, you can click the Finish button and start using your tentacle. Here are some tips for installing and configuring a polling tentacle. Choose a polling tentacle if your Octopus server cannot send requests to the machine hosting the tentacle. For large-scale installations, you can automate the tentacle installation with a package manager like Chocolaty and the tentacle command line interface. Manage upgrades of your tentacles directly from the Octopus web portal. Thanks for watching this Getting Started video, and happy deployments!